What are the presuppositions of argument? This is an interesting way to think. What does the question itself mean? The presuppositions of argument. It means those necessary things that must exist in order for argument to exist. And straight to the point, the number one presupposition of argument is that of community, society. An argument is a social construct. An argument presupposes a history of community. Even if there was only one human being left on the planet, and that human being engaged in the act of argument, the very existence of that form would point back to a community, to a social organization that was able to bring about this kind of edifice. And the reason this is so important to understand is that the presuppositions of argument often contradict the conclusions that are drawn from argument. In other words, it is possible to deduce abstractions from the logical form that do not comport with reality, that contradict the material world. It is also possible to try to tyrannically impose these abstractions on life which leads to the stultification of life. And so understanding the presuppositions of argument that this very form presupposes the existence of community is vital in being able to point to the contradictions or the errors that are oftentimes produced by argument. The fact that the argumentative form points to the material existence, the necessary existence of a community, of a social network, of beings interlinked in communication, is a powerful argument for the value of community, for the value of protecting and promoting the quality of community. And the reason this is important is because many people who utilize abstract arguments, such as libertarians, for example, try to make arguments that attack the very presuppositions which account for argument in the first place, try to negate the qualities that allow these forms to exist. And that's exceedingly problematic. It's problematic because it detracts from existential quality in general. Essentially, what we have in the form of argument is we have epistemological and existential commitments to community. To wield the authority of an argument is to first and foremost presuppose the authority and value of community. Because without that community, without that historical progression of thinkers united in communication, there would be no such thing as an argument. This matters. And uh, the reason it matters is because when we attack the qualitative foundations of these forms, these forms that are so vital to our clarity, we undermine our intelligence as a species. The fact that the existence of the argumentative form presupposes the necessary existence of a community that was required to generate it tells us one very important thing. That community and communication in qualitative forms are exceedingly important, far more important than abstract conclusions.